Welcome back everyone. It's 70 degrees in Des Moines. Calm winds for the time being, but if we get a little rain to move in, that might kick up the wind just a little bit. Uh, Storm Tracker Live showing some showers moving toward Polk City right now. Should move into Ankeny within the next oh, 20 minutes or so. Ames, you're picking up some rain at this hour. That's stretching down towards central Dallas County. So Dallas Center over to Adele picking up some rain. That's going to move toward Waukee within the next 10 to 20 minutes as well. Looking farther north, Iowa Falls down through uh, portions of Hamilton and uh, southern Hardin County over toward Story County picking up that rain at this hour. So Story City over to Ames getting that rainfall and then some scattered pop up thunderstorms uh, redeveloping here from Carroll through Audubon down toward Atlantic. We'll see what that does. I have a feeling as this approaches central Iowa, it's going to fizzle out uh, by around eight or nine o'clock. But between now and then we could get some pretty healthy rain, especially in western Iowa this morning. All these storms are ahead of a cold front that's going to stall out and turn into a stationary front today through tomorrow. So that will hang around northern Iowa, southern Minnesota the next couple of days and then beginning uh, Thursday, especially that will push northward, allowing us to really dry out in Iowa and it will be all about the heat starting kind of tomorrow, but really picking up pace Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Future tracker showing a break from the rain around noon through the first part of the afternoon, redeveloping storms expected uh, initially in north central Iowa during th around maybe three or four o'clock, and then it will either push eastward or drift south. Um, various models showing different solutions here, but there's at least a chance for some more storms around dinner time through the early evening in Ames over to Des Moines. It may even press southward into southern Iowa. A few more storms possible late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Uh, I think Wednesday afternoon will be dry in central and southern Iowa. A chance for a few more storms up north either late tomorrow afternoon or late tomorrow evening. After that round, we're going to be drying out. So slight chance for a couple of severe storms today. Uh, Northern Iowa could see a severe storm or two on Wednesday. After that, Thursday, Friday and probably Saturday looking dry for most of us. And Thursday, Friday and Saturday will be the hottest days of the week. We go from 93 on Wednesday to 97 on Thursday and Friday. Still some mid and upper 90s in spots on Saturday. And then a cold front's going to roll through at some point on Sunday. Could bring some showers and storms, but more importantly, it's going to bring much cooler air and lower humidity starting Monday. And that will probably stick around for much of next week.